Um, and like I said before, we are Top Cat Cleaning. Um, we started this business back in 2006. Um, Ron and I both worked for um, Corporate America, and um, because of that, we were both pretty much burned out. So when I left my job, I um, started this business, and um, knowing that eventually um, he was going to be um, my partner. Uh, we started working together actually back in 1978 when we met, um, and uh, we actually he was actually my boss, although he really wasn't. <laughs> 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 But yeah, he was my boss way back then, and um, it was one of those, uh, you know, I, I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. And um, he didn't know that, but I kind of <laughs> made sure he found that out real quick. Um, and we have two children, um, RJ and Caitlin. Uh, RJ's in the Air Force, as you all know, and uh, Caitlin is um, going to be in the pharmaceutical business soon, as soon as she gets her state um, certification. Um, and, you know, in having two children, we were always on the go um, with our corporate jobs. So, like I said, when we started this business, we wanted something we could do together um, and build our business and, and something that we could do together because basically for the past 33 years, we've been together every single day. Um, and we enjoy that. We enjoy working together. Um, like I said, we started in 2006, and um, we started with myself. I met Dot. She introduced me to BNI, and then it just took off from there. So since then, I've been gaining customers and hiring people. Um, I have two girls. Uh, two girls. Yeah. I have seven plus girls that work for me. The plus meaning um, I do have a couple of reserves that you know if I need them, I can call them and they can come and help. I'm in the process of hiring one to two more girls. Um, what we do, we do residential cleaning and um, small office cleaning. Where Tanya does all the big buildings, um, we do 3,000 square foot or less. Um, we do residential homes. We um, do initial cleans, we do deep cleans, we do move in, move out cleans, we do maintenance clean. Ron always goes with us on the um, initial cleans and the deep cleans. Because of my insurance, which I'm fully licensed, bonded, insured, and we do carry full workman's comp, my girls aren't allowed to um, um, climb up on a, a ladder any more than two steps, which is pretty much worthless here in Florida because everybody has the high <coughs> plant shelves and the cabinets that are very high. So he always comes with us on the, um, on the initial cleans. So, do you want to tell them a little bit about the initial cleans oh, and sure. what we use? Sure. Probably the most thing that we use is what we call elbow grease. That's why I think uh, that makes us a lot different than most of the other companies because we all know how, how to do what we got to do. But certain equipment things, we use our uh, backpacks. These are commercial grade. They get HEPA filters and they're very flexible for us to get into those high areas. and. Uh, more importantly, sometimes underneath your furniture. Uh, a lot of our competitors um, who do residential cleaning uh, carry uh, those uh, upright backs um, that you know that you guys are familiar with in your own homes. And they're great, they're awesome, but they don't get underneath furniture. This thing here, I don't know if you can all see, but that's how low we can get under your furniture. The other thing we can do is get behind your furniture simply by walking over it and doing behind, say this is the back of the couch, we can run our little piece of equipment under there as well. And in addition, since I'm modeling this today, we can do those high, high areas that Terry was talking about uh, simply by you know, getting on a ladder, Say, for instance, a plant shelf where there's a lot of stuff, we can move your, move your move a plant, move a fixture, move a, what do you call those things, a decorative thing, and get behind it, on a ladder, do all that we got to do. We can do the tops of uh, just about anything. So this really gives us a lot of flexibility that um, a lot of other companies don't have quite. And we always take two vacuums with us no matter where we go because we always need two. 
And because of that fact, people with um, the high, high ceilings, we can put four of these poles together. And he can get, even if it's higher than that, he can get up on a ladder and get all those cobwebs up in the corner that, that most companies can't get because they do use the push vacuum cleaners. We also carry these bins. This is my bin. Okay? We also carry these bins with us everywhere we go. We have, I have everything in here that I could possibly need. I carry screwdrivers because a lot of times um, in people's showers, you have all that stuff underneath, so I take the liberty of unscrewing the bottom thing and I clean out the inside and put the thing back. The drain. The drain. The drain. The thing. We have razor blades. The thing. Yeah, the thing. Um, uh, we use a product which you all know I passed out last time called um, Echo H. Purely green. Purely green. Yeah, they've changed the change thing now. Uh, we have color coordinated cloths that we use. We use green in the kitchen, orange everywhere else, blue in the bathrooms, white on the baseboards and on the door frames. We use paper towels on the toilets. Um, we use our blue sponge for the kitchen and we use our green sponge for the bathrooms. We also carry a hardwood floor sponge which is just like a nylon mesh that we can spray and scrub the floor if there's like dog drool and stuff like that that we have to get off and we don't have to go down and scrape it. And we carry the, the dusters. We use Swiffer dusters. They smell so good now. I don't know what they did to them, but they really smell good. Um, we use um, basic stuff that you would get in the grocery store. Uh, Non-ammoniated glass cleaner, um, you know, soft scrub with bleach, barkeeper's friend. Um, we have this smell stuff. I don't know if you can smell it from where you, you are. But it smells so it's not like cherry. Um, so we spray that in the homes. Um, and Ron has a little tool that we use. Believe it or not, this is one of the most used tools that we have. This is a meat skewer. And what this allows us to do is get into those nooks and crannies around your appliances. You know those little grooves that collect food data? This is what we use to clean them out. So we talk about detailed cleaning. I'm very proud of the fact that we provide some very detailed cleaning for our customers. This is one of the tools that allows us to do it. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Now, what we do is when we go in to give a quote, um, we I usually take take my book with me. We have a quote sheet that that we use that we um, pass out to the customer once we've given them the quote, so they know exactly what we're going to do, how much we're going to charge, how many people we're going to bring. Um, we are our, our initial cleaning charge. We have a three-person crew and a four-person crew. Three-person crew is $74 an hour for three people. Four-person crew is $98 an hour for four people. Basically, it works out to be the same thing, only we get it done a little bit quicker with four people. Um, we go in, we work from top to bottom, um, get that clean, and then we give um, the customer a quote on their maintenance cleans. We get so many, I get so many emails, thanks to David. Um, I get so many emails requesting quotes. Um, I, I have a house, it's, it's got three bedrooms, two baths, how much is it going to be? Well, I can ask them about square foot, because most companies base their, their cleaning charges on square foot. Yeah, I can give a square foot price, but if they're the cleanest people in the world, where, you know, we go in and we do a clean and we're out of there, that's going to be one charge. But if we go in there and they've got four kids, three dogs, two cats, an iguana, a hamster, and there's pet hair and everything all over the place, it's going to take us longer so it's going to cost more. So we we always make an appointment with the um, prospective customer to go out there and make sure we, we customize the cost of the clean to their house. Um, we won the 2011 Super Service Award for Angie's List. And, uh, right up there with Mark now. Um, we have a lot of reviews on Angie's List that are absolutely fantastic. And yeah, you get some people, you can't please everybody all the time. We try. And we guarantee. What is our guarantee? We guarantee our work. Is that simple? So if we overlooked anything, the customer simply calls us and says, hey, here's the deal. We come right, we go out the very next day and take care of it. So it, it just makes it easy for everybody. I can tell you over six years, I, our average is 1.5 times a year is how often we Bad. And it's and it's the, the major things that we've gone back, yeah, okay, so you miss something very easily. We go back, we take care of it. Where do we go? Where do we go? 
Um, we go, go Tampa Kansas City, South Tampa, Riverview, Brandon. No, we go Sun City, Waimama. Yeah, my mama and Waimama. Wait, she's got a mama and Waimama that we do. Um, yeah, we got. <laughs> we do travel for one-time cleans. We've gone to St. Pete. We've gone to. Where did we go that day? That oh, Spring Hill. Spring Hill. Yeah. Spring Hill. We went to Spring Hill. We traveled up there two hours to clean house. It's like, are you kidding me? Um, but we did it, and um, we we try to accommodate everybody that calls us. Um, you know, Jeff constantly calls and says, "Hey, I have a house to clean. You know, go do it. It's great. We love to do that. That's our job. We love working together." Um, a great referral for us. We're trying to build our um, business side. Small business. Small business side. Small now. Business. So 3,000 square foot or less, anyone you know, dentist, doctor, travel agent that wants to change their cleaning service, have them give us a call. Again, we're Terry and Ryan from Aldi, and thank you very much for your attention today. <laughs>